YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Vicki and this is my husband, Chad. So I hope you'll decide to stick around and stay a while and hit that subscribe button. It seems like it's been a while since I've sat down and talked to you all. Today we're on a road trip. We're going to Louisville to um, my son and his wife are going to uh, Hamilton. Broadway play, and, play and, and they're wanting us to watch the grandbabies in the hotel room while they go. So we're doing that and going to visit our daughter while we're here in Lexington. And um, our other daughter's going to be passing through on Sunday. So we'll get to see her for a little bit, maybe go out to dinner with her. So we're just, I've really been missing my kids, haven't I? Yes. What well, are they going to grow up on you for? I told Chad last night, I said, I miss them them when time. they're little. I miss them, but I miss them when they were little. And it's like when me and Chad would go to bed at night. I know this is a weird way to start the vlog, but I'm just telling you what I've been feeling. Um, go to bed at night, and when they were all four at home, under our roof, asleep, in their rooms, or even just in their rooms, it was such a peaceful feeling. I knew they were home, they were safe. And that's the way I feel right now. I just want to with my kids make sure they're safe and healthy anyway i know that's that's weird no they're adults but i mean so many they should be 12 years old sleeping in our house every night instead we're, they're spread everywhere but anyway with that being said i just thought i'd give you all a little vlog i may do some of the trip i don't know i try to respect my family's privacy they all don't want to be on youtube but anyway that being said, um, I hope everyone's been doing well, staying well. Uh, we've had a lot of sickness in our family. I've not been very visible on my social media the last couple weeks. Um, we didn't get COVID, but our son did. And I tested four times. I was sick as I've been in years, but they were all negative. And I think I just had the flu. I done a telehealth visit. And they gave me an antibiotic, but I really think I got the flu. I had a really bad cough for even a week afterwards. So for a couple of weeks, I was pretty sick, so I didn't feel like doing too much. But um, anyway, that's what's been going on with me. Grammy school ended, actually it ended on that Friday is when I started getting sick. So I've pretty much been sick since school's been out. I am feeling better this week though, so I'm glad for that. All of my siblings were in um, during Memorial Weekend, got to be with my parents. I unfortunately and Chad and their family didn't get to be there because we were all sick, my son with COVID and then the rest of us with flu or sinus infection or something. But anyway, we all tested, we were all negative, but we were all sick too, so it makes you wonder, I don't know. But um, that was sad because we didn't get to be with everybody and visit with everyone while they were there and I've not seen some of my siblings two years maybe so that was sad for me um, but anyway I hope to be filming a lot of good videos coming up with a lot of yummy food um, face no it's on Facebook YouTube works more like the algorithm works more like you want your channel to be about a specific thing so a lot of mine is cooking but I like to do a lot of different vlogs day in the life shopping hauls um, I like to do get ready with me things like that so that makes it hard but I'll try to sprinkle some of these videos in every now and then still but let me know in the comments what is your favorite type of video to watch on YouTube and what you like to see of mine um, I did get my hair colored, which you can't really see it because I put it up when it was wet and sprayed it. But it's like 95, 96 today. So it's extremely hot. It has been all week. The humidity will knock you down. So I've, I've, you know how I am with my hot flashes. I've been putting my hair up, which I like it up. I still like it up. But anyway, I do what's comfortable and cool for me. So... I hope everyone's staying safe out of the heat, staying healthy, staying well. Um, it's been so hot, it turned my hair white. He's a nut. Dad jokes. Papa jokes. Papa jokes now. But anyway, um, so yeah, we've, we've 
not really done anything this summer because, like I said, I, Chad was sick a little bit and I was sick a lot, but we've not really done much of anything. He's worked every day, so that's typical what he does. And I did finally get feeling a lot better, so that's good. <clears throat> Is there anything you want to talk to them about or tell them, Chad? Well, right now I'm driving too fast. Well, their son, tell them about the baseball team. I know you live yeah. talk about that. Our son's our local high school baseball coach, and uh, he's been the coach for three seasons, but they only got for three years, but they only had two seasons because his first season was wiped out by the pandemic. So we had two seasons, and both years he made the regional semifinals. They won the district championship. A really fun, good team, good season. He's had a good record for those two seasons. And he resigned because it's so time consuming and demanding, and he has a, a grandbaby. He's the four year old and the one year old. And he would get home from away games, they'd already be asleep. You wouldn't see him the whole day. And it just took so much time, and um, he made the decision to step away and just be able to be a dad simple life but uh, it was a tough decision because he is an excellent coach if I must say so myself for 30 years old he had a really bright future in that maybe he goes back to in the future I don't know but uh, he done a really good job I was really proud of him and he walked away at a time where they're going to be really good next year too so he's leaving them in good hands for someone but it's been a lot of fun following those kids and watching the games and babysitting with my grandbabies while we watch the games now, next season, Amelia, the oldest one, will get to start playing t-ball. So, I'm real excited for that. T-ball is so fun to watch. So, are we going from high school baseball to t-ball? Yeah. So, no pressure there. Just watching them and having fun. So, that'll be good. It's been four days since I filmed. I didn't close my vlog, but we're on our way back home. Four days. And we have gas station snacks, and then we'll tell you what we've been up to. Sweet tart rope. I like this stuff. In a water. What'd you get, Chad? I just got some nap, peanut butter crackers, and they'll eat which is a local flavor from Eastern Kentucky. It's, good, it's pretty popular. Kind of thing. Yeah, really good. But anyway, we've had a lot going on. We went to Malibu Jacks with our grandbabies. I'd never been to Malibu Jacks before. That was such a fun place to take kids. And I'm so glad we got to do that with our grandbabies. They just had the best time, especially Amelia. After their parents went to the Hamilton play in Louisville, the next day we went to Malibu J. 
Jacks in Lexington. It was so fun. I, I'd heard of Malibu Jacks, but I didn't know what it was. It's sort of like a Dave and Buster's, but or Gaddy Lands, but on steroids. It was so. I hadn't even heard of it. So, but it was awesome. Uh, really neat and fun. They had so much for kids to do. We had a great time watching our grandbabies have fun. The pandemic has taken away a lot of opportunities to spend the normal things with your kids. Like when our kids were growing up, just going out to McDonald's in a ball pit or Walmart and buy a toy, being around other kids at church, and a lot of different things that we had has been a little different. So our four-year-old Amelia, she made two friends while she was in the um, play area of Malibu Jacks, and that was so sweet and heartwarming for me. I'll probably insert some footage. It was the sweetest thing. Ford, she hasn't really been around a lot of, a lot of other kids, just adults. It's she doesn't know good. Why her vocabulary is so good is because she's just around adults, but I, I wonder how she'd interact with other kids, but she's such a sweetheart. She was fabulous. Ran around with these two other little girls. Got out of her comfort zone, too, with like going up in the high areas of a ball pit thing and down and those little tunnels and mazes. And Aubrey got to play with little kids too in the nursery type area. She did good. She's one. Yeah, we had, we a, had good a really time. good time with them. Yep. And while the parents went to see Hamilton, we babysat in a hotel and had a sleepover with them. That was fun too. Big weekend. I don't want to steal all Vicky's thunder, but I'll just keep going. Then on the way home, that was. We left Thursday, didn't we? Come back on Friday. On Lexington. Friday, we came to Lexington and seen our daughter Courtney and stayed until today, which is Sunday. And our daughter Chelsea came by. So we got to visit with both of them and they took me out to eat. It's Father's Day today. So. Our daughter Chelsea was traveling through. She had been to Pennsylvania or Pittsburgh for a wedding. Is that right? Yep. So when she came through, she stopped and had dinner with us. Got to see her dad for Father's Day. Took us out to dinner. We didn't get to see her about a couple of hours, but it was good to see her. I'm a homebody. Being away from home for four days has been a lot for me. I like to be home. But it was great to spend time with Courtney and Chelsea. Kobe and Tori and Amelia and Aubrey and everybody. Fun. On our way home now. neighborhood in Lexington and I've seen it all a graduation gal in Goodwill so if you want to pretend that you graduated from UK come to the Goodwill in Brandon Crossing and buy you one a snippet of a UK graduation gown that somebody put in there donated it was so funny we did find a few things my daughter found a dress I found a few tank tops I like to sleep in tank tops. And then my son, my husband found a jacket. What kind of jacket Mostly. was it? Well, when we left, it was 96 degrees. I took all my jackets and long sleeve shirts out of the car that were in there for baseball season. So I surely won't need them. Last night it got in the 40s. So it's a good way well for something long sleeves, like a Under Armour type shirt. But it was, uh, Austin Kearns was a 
baseball player, played for the Cincinnati Reds. He's from the Lexington, Kentucky area. And on the back it said Austin Kern Celebrity Golf Classic. So I thought that was cool. Five bucks. And if it got cold, I could wear it, which we didn't get out. We were inside last night, so I didn't really wear it, but I've got it now. And our daughter also took us somewhere we'd never been. Red Mile. It's a casino type place. I don't even know what I'm saying there. But I think they have horse racing there. I need to know more. It looked like there was a track behind it, but inside what we see was like the slot machine kind of things. She took $5. She ended up winning 10, but she spent it. She said she only been there one other time on a date, and she spent, she took five and ended up winning 75. Mm -hmm. So she took five in, and she got up to like $10. Well, I thought it was more, but anyway, because I quit while you're in, she said, nope. And she kept going, and she left with 70 cents, I think, but so didn't lose much. Anyway. Well, I hadn't been to something like that. Before. It was crazy, though. Everyone in there was around our age, it looked like. Or older. And they were old? And, or older. And that this place was huge. I, I don't normally go to places like that. I don't know what the draw scary. is it to it. It can be so addictive. I think it's scary. But anyway, I guess it's time for people if that's what they want to do. But she wanted to take us there, so it was all right. We went from Goodwill to a casino. But we had a good visit with her. That was a nice car. Goodwill store, though. They yeah. had a lot of good stuff. We had a lot of stuff. I didn't need anything. But anyway. I'm just wondering if you're going to eat all the sweet tar, bro. Oh, you want to Yep. Vicky loves sweet tar, bro. There was a time when we was going to Moorhead and Marshall visiting kids at, at college that every time we'd stop you one of these and sometimes you couldn't find them. Yeah, I know. We use them to stay awake. I've been really sleepy today. I'm doing good for some reason. Today's Father's Soon. Day. So, when I get back home, I'm going to get to go see my dad for a little bit before bedtime. This is the first year Chad's not had his dad with him, so it's a little bit bittersweet. But he's in a better place than we are. And he wouldn't want him to change it, and we wouldn't want him to either. No. I'm worried about my mom. But, uh, tomorrow's their anniversary, too. It would have been 60 years. Mom does everything just so good, though. But still have to worry about her. My siblings. It's our first Father's Day without him. And he was the best, so it's a tough, tough thing. But yeah, I know he's not suffering anymore. But uh, happy Father's Day to our son, who has got the sweetest two little baby girls, and he's a great dad. I told him I've been proud of a lot of things in his life, but nothing makes me more proud of watching him be a dad to those two baby girls. He's a really good daddy. They sure love their daddy. They sure do. They're but blessed anyway, to have two great parents, mommy and daddy. I just wanted to get on here and close out our vlog. I want to wish everyone a happy Father's Day. Whether you're a father biologically or by heart or whatever, there's a lot of father figures in the world. And I hope you all have a blessed day. Happy Father's Day to my dad and my husband and my son. All my brothers-in-law and brother, brothers. And I hope everyone has a great day and enjoy your day with your dads. Vicki said I didn't have a dad bod. She said I had a father figure. I don't know if that's good or bad. That's a dad joke. It's a dad joke. I heard that somewhere. Well, we'll talk to you soon. Go.